mid-April through mid-May love readings. My love readings run from the middle of the month to the middle of the next month because we have these videos here, the career and money readings, as well as your general readings already. And so this kind of keeps you on track as the month goes on. This is for your moon sign. And I know you're like, why? Why not my Venus? Why not my sun? This video right here is gonna tell you exactly why that is. Just trust me, it's gonna resonate more. Um, you'll know why if you watch that video or you know, just trust me, whatever. This month, I'm gonna use a couple different decks and my awesome assistant might kind of edit into the video here what that will, what they look like, okay? And then in the description box below, if you're wondering what that is, there's links there. Um, and if you click on the link and you wanna buy one, I, I'm not selling them, but it's their affiliate links, which is great for me because I have to make money, you know, as well. So hopefully that'll work. Uh, what else? Let's just get started, I guess, then. Um, so the way these love readings work is we're going to look at predictions for singles, couples, and then for those in it's complicated situations. So you might be polyamorous, you might be in an on again, off again relationship. Maybe you're just talking to each other, but you haven't really met yet because of coronavirus. And so you're wondering what that's gonna be like later, you know, when you can see each other, whatever. Um, I'm gonna break it into those three categories and we're gonna look at what the general vibe is this month, what you, um, really want, or at least what you think you want, then what do you actually need? What's going to be the best thing to happen in your love life this month? And then what's the biggest challenge going to be? And then kind of just overall general advice. So let's get started. We're going to start with singles, then move on to couples, and then do, um, for those of you in complicated situations, whether that means you're polyamorous, on again, off again, you're just talking, but it's not committed. Um, we're gonna do those last because sometimes pieces of the single and pieces of the couples will resonate for its complicated situation. So it's not that I love you less, but that's the reason why I do that last. Gemini singles, your love vibe this month is if you believe that you can find love this month, you absolutely can. If you don't have a belief system, well, fuck it, you probably won't, self-fulfilling prophecy, right? So even though it might be hard with social distancing to find the right person, you can at least start developing relationships and weeding out people that potentially you don't want to meet when all of this is over. So what is it that you think you want in your love life and from potential relationships in the future? And they're like discipline, you know, like you want somebody that encourages you, that helps you remember that you can do whatever it is that you set your mind to. And you wanna make sure that you can meet somebody that can um, meet you where you're at as far as your lifestyle goes that won't be a distraction for you. Um, what is it that you actually need though? Um, so it's interesting because you need to understand that sometimes when things don't work out, it's not your fault, okay? If somebody ghosts you, it's not because you didn't have enough value or enough worth. Um, it's just, you know, maybe something's going on with their life. Maybe they literally died. Maybe they're actually a ghost, okay? So you have to keep that in mind as time passes. And you have to understand that the challenges in dating right now um, really have shit to do with you. And it doesn't mean you're not good at it and you're not good at finding partners or, you know, whatever, things that have happened to you in your past. It's not because you deserved it if somebody changed cheated, right? It's because they're a fucking cheater. Things like that is what you actually need to understand in order to find the right person moving forward. So what's going to be the best thing that happens in your love life this month that you really get to sit and think about how it is that you feel and what it is that you truly want? Um, you have the time and the space to do so. Now, this is a slow process, but for a lot of you, this is going to help you to find the right partner that lasts forever, a marriage type of relationship or even a marriage, okay? So, but going back to the beginning, you really have to believe that this is possible, that this month might be the month that you're able to really find that person, even though it's a little bit inconvenient, okay? So, what is going to be the biggest challenge for you this month? And they're saying to make sure that your emotions are all balanced, um, that the way that you feel is like a practical and realistic way to think about things, and then to go out and start communication with other people, maybe joining an, a dating app or um, contacting somebody that looks cute on Facebook or you know shouting across 
out the window, you know, the street to a hot neighbor or something like that. Like actually opening the doors of communication is really important. Um, and for whatever reason, that's hard for you, even though communication, I mean, Gemini's talk their head heads off a lot of the time, but maybe just starting that and being the first person to reach out is a little bit challenging for you. But it sounds like for many of you, this is going to be worth it. Um, many of you are going to be able to, if you really believe it, um, to find that forever person this month. So the advice that they have for you is to think about what is it that you want, think about the characteristics and the qualities you want in a partner, because not only will you be able to find that, you can find something even bigger and more beautiful than you thought possible. And then they're like, your intuition isn't like totally in tune. So it's not like you're gonna start talking to this person and instantly know that, hey, that's my forever person and the person I'm destined to be with. That's just not the case for you this month. But that doesn't mean that it's not hopeless and that you know whoever you start talking to, like the relationship isn't gonna go anywhere. A lot of times when people act strange, it has shit to do with us, okay? So don't lose your faith. Now, for those of you who are in relationships already, what's the love vibe this month? And they're like, the timing is actually perfect for whatever you have as far as hashtag couple goals um, to complete. Now, what is it that you think you want in your relationship? And they're like, you don't have to stretch your mind too far to know what I'm talking about, but um, there's been some pain, some grief, some things have changed in your relationship, and this is a time to understand that um, we get to appreciate you know, what is here um, between us and what we still have. Maybe your partner lost their job or you lost yours, but like, hey, hell yeah, fuck yes, I still have this relationship. OK, or maybe my partner is ill, but, you know, they're still alive or maybe I'm ill. But hey, I'm still alive. And my partner still loves me. You know, there's different things that are happening here. We have to grieve something that happened, but still appreciate what exists. OK, um, and I think you want to do it, but it's like one of those things that's easier said than done. So what is it you actually need? And they're like, well, it's time to let go of some things. This is going to help heal your heart chakra. It's time to move the fuck on. Like whatever it is that we are sad about. OK, yeah, we were sad about something, but losing something is an opportunity for us to appreciate the fact that we used to have it, um, you know, and that we got to experience it in the first place. So what is the best thing that's going to happen in your relationship and in your love life this month? And they're like that, you know, you don't have to go out of your way to express and show a lot of love to your partner. They just kind of know that you're there and that you care. You don't have to do anything extra this month. What's going to be, so that's nice that you get like a break. The biggest challenge though is actually taking that break and because when you're not giving to your partner, you're like, okay, well, if I don't have the time or the space or the energy to do this, like how do I really feel? But understanding and knowing that feeling it, um, a certain way for somebody, is enough, okay? Because they can pick up on that, they know. So the advice for you this month in your relationship is like not everything happens overnight. Not all letting go activities do. Not not like a grieving process, not changes, you know? Um, but we have to take it one day, one step at a time because we are learning and growing in love together. Um, so those of you in complicated situations or you know, it's complicated is your status, what is the love vibe for you? And they're like, don't give up right now. Don't stop working on this. Don't stop um, communicating. Don't shut down. Don't change it up too much. What is it that you think you want? Um, you don't want to have to take on other people's baggage. You don't want to have to give too much empathy and caring and soothingness to like somebody else because you got your own emotional shit that you have to deal with. And that's actually OK. Uh, what is it that you need? Um, so you just need to understand like maybe some of the problems that you have in this it's complicated situation aren't really that big of problems um you don't maybe things are better than you think you are maybe that's not being communicated appropriately to you but it's very well the case okay so just take a deep breath and kind of understand that there are other perspectives here and maybe things aren't what they seem so what is going to be the best thing that happens in your love life this month well, that people are going to try to offer you love, caring, kindness, affection, and things like that, but you might be kind of resisting this a little bit. Now, why is it a good thing that you would be resisting this? 
Well, because this is going to illuminate for you a pattern of your own behavior that doesn't serve you, that you think you can't walk away from. This is just how I am. This is my personality. This is my character trait, but it actually isn't. And you have to remember that when we allow others to show us love the way that they want to, kindness, caring, to give us gifts and affection, that... Um, we are honoring them by allowing them to do so and we're also helping ourselves. We're raising both parties' vibrations by gracefully accepting it, okay? Now, um, I want to say that, side note, for some of you, and I would say a maximum of 30% is what they're telling me, um, if they are offering excuses or justification for their own shitty behavior though, push that shit away. That's not, the, that's not what I'm talking about, okay? I'm, I'm saying if somebody's offering you something actually good, if they're offering excuses, um, uh-uh. No, that's something totally different because that's not good. Okay, so um, what will be the biggest challenge for you this month? That you're not super like connected intuitively. You don't naturally kind of just like have this gut feeling about what is the right thing to do. However, they're saying like, Things are just gonna take the course that they course in this situation, like this little cycle that we're in isn't forever. And actually you're going to learn a lot about what you have to offer other people and um, about you know what it is that other people enjoy about you and why you're so special. Now you might feel a little bit sad in this process of learning that, but it actually benefits you and kind of elevates your mood moving forward. So the advice that I have to give you here is like, you know, there might be some disappointment, heartbreak, um, struggles this month, but all of it leads to you really getting what it is that you want and for settling for nothing less than what you deserve, okay? So that is the end of April to the first half of May, and I'll see you again next month. Mm -hmm.